Hi everyone, so just a quick how-to video for you today. I'm going to show you how to set up the governor on an older style Brooklyn Stratton engine. Now this is an 11 horsepower and it's got points. It was manufactured in 1980 this one, so it's actually quite an old one. Uh, but this will work on some newer ones, but not necessarily uh, like the 90s engines, but it will be very similar. I think the only difference really is just the style of carburetor and the style of governor linkage setup here. Otherwise it's very similar. Right, so I've just put the camera on a tripod and I've put another light on. Hopefully the lighting is okay for you. Um, so now you can quite clearly see that this area here is where the governor setup is going on. You've got the linkages which run to the carburetor which is just over here on the left. Um, but your main concern if you're wanting to set up the governor is just here. And the governor is actually, the arm is just behind this little plate here. And that will come off if you want it to. There's one bolt there and there's one bolt just under there. If you remove them the whole assembly will just lift off. But for setting up the governor, you don't actually have to remove that, it's actually quite simple. And there is an easy check to make sure your governor isn't stuck. And you'll see your linkage, which runs here, and that goes to the governor arm. When you've got it on idle, that should be really loose, and it, the spring shouldn't be very tight. If you then put your engine, not on choke, but actually on full throttle, not as far as choke, that should be much stiffer. You should be able to feel the spring pulling back on you, which I can. So that means that your governor is not jammed. Sometimes the, if, if you've rebuilt the engine and say you've put the clip in the wrong place, just behind there, this little arm which goes onto the oil slinger inside, uh, and it's been known that it's a little clip, little R clip, and that can get stuck if you put it in the wrong way around. So um, if you have just rebuilt your engine and your engine's running flat out and you can't stop it, then that could be the reason why. Otherwise, you should still have to set up your governor anyway and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So just down here, I can't get the tripod low enough, but just down here you should have a wire which runs to a nut and then another wire which will then run into your wiring loom with your lawn tractor. Now these are just the kill wires. Basically if you turn the key off this will shut the engine off if everything's wired up properly. So it's very simple but just below there is like a little flathead drive little bolt there and then you've got the clamp onto your governor arm and this is where we're going to be setting it up today right so the first thing to do is either get a spanner or a little socket and then just slacken that off you don't have to remove it completely it's actually best that you don't and then get a flathead screwdriver and put it into the slot there and you see that moves at least it should do and you want to put that all the way as far as it will go clockwise while doing this, it's also good if you can make sure that the governor is all the way back and won't move. Hold it in place, make sure the governor doesn't move, and then you can tighten it up again. As tight as it will go, and then you can check it again, making sure on idle the spring is fairly slack, and then on full throttle it should be fairly tight. So that is how you set up the governor on an older style Briggs & Stratton engine.